Welcome to Cup for Africa number two. This is part three. Alright, so I left off on um, deleting the other video that I had just done where there was a lot of cussing in it and I didn't want this video to have any cussing that didn't come out of my mouth. Alright, so I left off about um, leaving uh, Facebook pages and stuff because of uh, overzealous Trump people and all kinds of other stuff. And I also um, talked about how you would not know if your friend was a racist or prejudiced or whatever until they showed up at a race rally thing that they're not supposed to be at on the opposite side against your race. Now, in the videos I deleted, I went into detail on that. And right before I got to the end, somebody decided that they wanted to start cussing. And I had to delete that entire video. So I'm going to try to rehash my rehashing. Um, I talked about how I was in a Facebook group. And I showed you guys the bubble and all that shit. So, in this group again, they were talking about Trump like he was Jesus. And they only were getting one perspective of Trump. And the other guy was talking about Biden. And I told both of them, you know, it doesn't really matter because all politicians are liars. And each one contradicts what everyone else is trying to do. And the greater good of man. And I also went into how, um, when it really comes down to politics, it's more about who's loading up whose wallet the most. Let me make sure this thing is in first gear. So, yeah, is is to make sure that, to be honest, if you have to talk about politicians, you're either coming at it from a racist point of view, systemically, culturally, however you want to call it, or you're coming at it from, I'm poor. My wallet is broke. Maybe this guy can improve it. And if you're coming from a place where your wallet was already thick and this guy got it thicker, you're going to vote for that guy because your wallet is thick and you're not pinching any pennies for meals like the people who vote Democrat who are pinching pennies to make ends meet. All right, I'm not just speaking because I generally vote Democrat. I also talked about how I was going to vote for Elizabeth Warren, but she lost. I, I went into all that shit, so we're not going to go into rehashing that part. But what I am going to talk about now is the racism that our president applies. And I mean, you, you're a Trump supporter, so you don't see it. And nine times out of ten, if you're a white Trump supporter and you don't see it, it's because he's not saying anything bad about white people. He's not saying anything about poor white people or white people in general when it comes to like black people. And there are some of us who are completely ignorant that will Uncle Tom the shit out of this shit. And I'm going to get a lot of criticism for this video, and I don't give a shit. Because it's the truth. Alright? If you're black and you're voting for Donald Trump, you are either overly forgiving. I must have caught that thing. You're either overly forgiving or you have completely forgotten about the Central Park Five. And how he wanted the death penalty on all of those five kids. And even after they've been proven innocent and completely exonerated and they're getting their money. That even today, as of current, he has not yet once went on Twitter or anywhere else. And said, I'm sorry. My problem with Trump goes farther back. It goes back to 1993 and the casinos versus his casinos versus Native American casinos. Because clearly the Native Americans have gotten the worst deal on the planet. And me being part Cherokee, I'm going to favor more Native American stuff versus black stuff versus white stuff. And why is that? Because my Native American grandmothers meant something to me. Because my other grandmother on my mother's side, who's part Native American, means something to me because she's the only grandparent I have left. All right? Plus her new husband or whatever, which is my step-grandpa. Anyway, I love him too. Don't get it twisted. Anyway, I haven't been able to go see them due to COVID and out of fear that I may not have it, but I may be a carrier. I refuse to go over to her house just because I want her to live long enough to get through this shit than to be the cause of, well, you know, James was the last one to go see her. And, yes, my test of everybody else's test, my test would be the one test that they fucked up and either got contaminated or they lost it or both. And haven't been able to have a retesting because they haven't done any more free testing. And I ain't got money. All right? So let's just be straight right there. I don't have money. So, you know, that's that. Now, it's the same thing with the damn mask wearers, man. Look. If it becomes a mandate, you're going to have to do it anyway. So if it becomes a law, you're damn sure going to have to do it. So why make the shit more difficult? Okay, back to the point at hand. Alright, 
So, one, they got in at it. I mean, they both were going at it. Trump this, Biden that. And I'm like, man, really? You know, my problem with Trump is really simple. They don't look like Indians to me. Then there was Standing Rock. And there were a lot of other things. And now he supposedly has put some task force into place about helping Native Americans that are missing or dead, etc., etc. Well, every president has claimed to do that, but nothing has changed. Now, Obama didn't do that. Obama did um, try to protect Standing Rock, but the very next day, when he was out of office and um, freaking Trump went in, the first thing he did was get rid of the decree to protect Standing Rock. Right there, Trump lost me. No, because he already had a problem with Native Americans to fucking begin with. This did not help his case for me. And then there was the Central Park Five thing, and I watched clips, and I've posted clips here of the shit he said. So you're all wearing shutters and earplugs and not hearing or wanting to hear. Now, yeah, he had his point to the story, but after they were proven innocent, you can't man up and say, yo, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. And any man who can't man up and say they're wrong, you just got problems, man. You know, because there's nothing wrong with admitting that you're wrong. You're not Jesus. Only Jesus is perfect. Everyone else, we try, we strive, and either we're going to make it or we're not. But no one is perfect. Now, there may be some things that you are perfectly at doing. But that does not make you 1,000% perfect. All right. Now, in the groups, like I said, they were going at and I mean, they're going at it hard. And I left these groups because I am, one, not a Trump supporter. And politics ruin friendship. Because if I tell all my friends that I'm not a Trump supporter in these groups, and they'll be like, oh, what the fuck's wrong with you, James? Oh, did you, like, forget what the fuck my ethnicity is? Did you forget what I look like? Yeah, did you forget my skin is brown? When I get out of my car, I have to worry about cops shooting me over dumb shit? Where, when you get out of your car, not so much. The good news on me is cops don't even really know if I'm black or white or Mexican. They don't really know. But, you know, they all approach the same. And it's, hey, boy. You now, which they should be, hello, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you doing, sir? We need to give our officers more training. And we just don't. And then you talk about defund. No. Repurpose. Reallocate. Retrain. But people don't want to do that. They want to do it the hard way. Then they want to get mad at cops for shooting threatening people with knives and shit. Okay. Can't have it both ways, people. You want understanding? Teach understanding. It also would behoove you to understand that if someone's coming at you with a knife, they're not coming at you to spread butter on your bread, unless you're in a Thanksgiving setting. Okay? Now, I left these groups because I sat there and I kept saying, these guys are fighting over a racist and a guy who can't really remember shit according to the rumors. Now, I don't give a damn who you vote for. But I will say this. Ask yourself, if you were a person that Trump didn't like, would you still vote for Trump if you were Chinese and he was having your life in danger, having all your Asian friends um, possibly get an attack because racist people can't tell an uh, uh, Asian race of person from an Asian race of person. All right? Most racist people, if you're Asian and they think you're Chinese, they're probably going to attack you because they think you're Chinese. And because of the Chinese virus, as our president says, or Kung Flu, as our president says, I got to worry about a lot of my Asian friends. Some parts of Native American. Native Americans are biologically Asian. However, no one's come at me with a racial attack. And no one's called me chief since I was like 16. All right? So when you, when you think about that shit... If it doesn't affect your race, you vote for the guy who's the face. You no. Know? And that's the thing that we really kind of got to address. You no. Know? There are a lot of white people who vote for Trump. And it's simply, it's not that they're racist, it's simply because they're just white. You no. Know? But Biden's white. So there's going to be a lot of people who vote for Biden simply because he's white. Not because of his views, not because of his plan, but because he's white. It's the same thing that happened when Obama was in office. A lot of black people didn't give a shit about Obama's views or any of that shit. They just voted for Obama because he was black. 
So that means, like, the white people and the Asian people and the Mexican people who voted for Obama probably actually gave a shit about his views. Where the majority versus the minority, the majority of black people that voted for Obama probably just voted for him because he was black. Where the minority who actually gave his views and understood where he was coming from voted for him because they actually voted for him for what they were voting him for. Hopefully y'all got what I was trying to say with that. Now, here we go with, like... This um, racist shit with Trump towards Asians and immigrants and Mexicans. Now, for if you're Asian and you're Mexican and you're immigrants and stuff, unless y'all forgot about that whole Border Patrol shit, which you can go Google where fucking kids were being taken from their parents and being subjugated into all this cruel shit, then you forgot. Okay, you can go back and Google that shit and you'll be fine. Get a refresher course. Now... As far as fucking, um, you know, fucking, <coughs> as far as fucking, um, you know, the Asians. When he talked to that Chinese reporter and told her to go ask China, a lot of y'all don't think that was racist. I, on the other hand, found that completely appalling, unpresidential, and completely, totally, astronomically fucking racist. Why don't you go ask China? And then he downgraded the white lady right behind him for um, letting her colleague say, yo, why did you say that to me? Why did you say that to me specifically? You know, because I'm Chinese? I got a lot of Chinese friends, dude. That shit won't cool. Now, as I said in the video that I deleted, there are a equal, if not more outstanding amount of Asians and things in the world. <coughs> However, as I also stated in the video that I deleted, there is an equal amount of racist people in every ethnicity in the world. Wherever you are, there's always going to be some racist somewhere in your country, in your ethnicity, in your background. There's always going to be some racist somewhere. And you're going to have to deal with that shit. Because you can't change racist views unless you don't raise a racist from childhood to adulthood to hate people for the one thing in the universe that no one can change outside of God. Your race. You can change your gender. If I want to be a chick tomorrow and I got $50,000 and go get rid of my twig and berries and get boobs, they got hormones and shit. I don't know how, what they're going to do about the chest hair because, you know, I have to shave that shit off every two weeks. But, you know, um, they'll figure it out, you know, because... $50,000 go a long way with surgery. Now, I don't know how they're going to fry all the hair sacks off my chest so that I don't have boobs and chest hair. But, you know, I mean, we were all hairy at once, but, you know, women have the lesser hair on their body than men. Unless you were, like, in that family of those people who, like, come from nothing but hair. I'm trying not to offend them. But, you know, that, that, that I think they were, like, South American. I don't know. But they were like like the Wolfenstein people or some shit. I don't know what they were called. But they did a documentary of them. And all the boys have hair. So I don't know if the girls were cursed with that shit either. But they did get all the hair like shaved off of them or whatever. And it's a long story. But anyway, like I said, you know, our president has said some racist ass shit. Sorry. The FedEx lady has a nice ass. Anyway. Hey, I'm single. I can look. I still... Like my crush, but, you know, she's not here. She's in Taiwan. Anyway, that being said, yeah, FedEx lady looks good, too. No, looking at her right now. Anyway, I'll be looking at her even more when she gets back into my mirror site. But anyway, the bottom line is, if you were immigrating, like if you were a Colombian or Cuban, if you were um, freaking Mexican if you are freaking Chinese. How can y'all forget the things that he said about your people? How he took kids from their parents? How he did such and such and such and such? And y'all just letting it slide. Well, that's the thing. You know, they started talking about this stuff in these groups. And I was like, you know what? I can't be here. I can't deal with this shit because no one else seems to understand that the racist stuff is flying out of his mouth. And as I said here on Comfort Advocate number two, I don't care if you vote for this guy. I don't care if you support this guy. The only thing I care about is are you asking yourself the moral question of, is my morals correct? 
to be supporting someone who hates my friends or my friends that are close enough to be family. Am I secretly a racist and just don't know it? Or do I support these racist views that come out of his mouth? <coughs> I don't wonder why she went into the right door to drive on the left side. Anyway, bottom line is, you know, what are we doing as this country if yay so many millions will follow a devout racist to make the others suffer? I guess um, Flash Gordon said it best, a rash chance action. Uh... 20 people over here die, so 20,000 over here can live. You know, even though all life is important, these 20 people who we consider insignificant could have been the people who saved us from cancer, AIDS, um, syphilis, herpes. Those 20 people, one of them may have had the answer to that. But we'd rather see them die so that 20,000 people who still have those diseases, cancer, herpes, AIDS, syphilis, gonorrhea, Shit that we can't cure. Common cold. But those 20 people that we let die that we thought was insignificant may have had the answers to all that shit, but we let them die. No. Every life is important. But as long as we're going to be doing stuff like that, you know, what what do we have? What have we gained? But more importantly, what have we lost? Think that shit over as you go into part four. Come for having number two. B, C, and U.